Hello guys, welcome. This is Tipika from mytutorialrack.com. Now in this tutorial, we are going to configure few more things, which is this one. So we are going to have these trending articles on the site that you see. And then we are going to have these under the featured, we are going to add some featured topics. So you see three topics that we are going to be adding. One is about customer support, new products and upcoming features. And then once they click on it, they're going to see an article related to that. Okay. So we are going to do all of this in this particular tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing is we will go back to our site. So we will go to the builder here. So from here, we'll go over to the Salesforce setup and it'll take us to the back end of the Salesforce. And now we will go over to the service setups. Okay, so we'll go here to the service setup. So in the previous tutorial, we added chat with the customer functionality. Now we will go ahead and add the knowledge setup here. Okay, so set up your knowledge base in service cloud. So we're gonna go ahead and add this and uh, hit the start. So search people, I'm gonna add, because I'm the only one, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next here. You don't have to do this, but we're going to just leave it as it is. But if you want to categorize your articles into a particular category, we can do that, but we will categorize them based on these topics. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and leave it here and hit the next and finish. So we have enabled this knowledge setup functionality. Now the next thing what we're going to do is we will go over to the object manager and here now you are going to see the knowledge object okay so this is the knowledge object that i have added through the setup and one field that we are going to add onto this is a text area field okay so here i'm going to go ahead and add we're going to add a text area field where we're going to give the answer and i'm going to call it as text itself okay so this is going to be a text field hit the next and we are going to visible it to everybody hit next here and then save added this field now the next thing is i want to make sure it is available on the page layout also so i'm going to go over to this lightning knowledge faq layout okay this is where i'm going to enable it and i'm going to add this text field it is already there so it's title then text. So I'm going to go ahead and put it here and then the URL name and we are going to do a quick save. So now we have added these three fields here, title, text and the URL name. Now what we're going to do is we are going to enable the topics. Topics you can think like categories. Okay. So think of topics as categories and under those topics, you are going to add your knowledge articles. Okay. So in order to enable, we'll go here to the setup again and we are going to say topics. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and look for enable the topics here. So I'll start saying topics for objects. Now for which object you want to enable the topics, right? So you can select knowledge so for knowledge we want to enable the topic so here i'm going to say knowledge and i am going to enable topics for this object and uh, select the text fields you want to use for topic suggestions so i'm going to use two fields here one is the text field and the other one is the title field so these are the two fields that I'll be using for the topic selection. So I have enabled topics for knowledge. So what is the topics? Topics is basically, you can categorize them. Now you can categorize your records of a certain object also. So here we are categorizing our knowledge records. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to add some knowledge records and then we are going to tag those knowledge articles under a particular topic and then we are going to add those topic to our site. Let me revise what we have done so far. The first thing that we did was we enabled the knowledge setup, right? So this knowledge setup, we did it through what? We did it through the service setup, right? So we went to the service setup, we enabled this functionality. Then the second thing what we did is we created a text field and we added this text field on the knowledge object, right? It's a simple text field we added on the knowledge object. And then we made sure that this field is part of our FAQ layout of the knowledge. That's it. Then the third step, what we did was we enabled topics for what? We enabled topics for the knowledge object. And we selected these two fields. The next thing is, we will add few knowledge articles. Make sure you have hit the save here. Okay, so we did the save. We have enabled it. Now what we're going to do is we are going to app launcher 
and we will go over to the knowledge okay so let's see once we do knowledge we're going to go over to the knowledge here and let's add some articles okay so here i'm going to say do we have anything yet nope we don't have now i'm going to add a new one and here i'm going to say this when is the next iphone 14 case be available okay so we can say here you can expect them in november of next year let's say this is just i'm gonna say and then i'm gonna hit the save and then i am going to publish them okay so there is a publish button so we're gonna go ahead and hit the publish here and i'm gonna hit the publish now okay now the next thing that i'll do i'll add another article here and the title I'm going to say, uh, this is also going to be, so when is the, can I customize my cases? Can I customize my, now the answer here is yes, we will be adding this functionality by next month. You will be able to add your name, your photo on the iPhone cases. Okay, so this is what we have, now hit the save. So now we have added another knowledge and then we're going to go and hit the publish. Okay. Similarly, you can add few more questions. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, let me see how many I've published. So now let's see, we have to make sure whatever we have it, only one is published. Okay. So now let's go to the draft articles. We go over to this one and we publish this article as well. You can also schedule the publication. We don't want to schedule it. So I leave it as it is. Uh, so we'll publish it right away. And now we have added our knowledge two knowledge items here now the next thing is let's say you want to add another one okay um, how long does it take to get the cases delivered iPhone cases delivered let's you can expect to receive order two to three hit the save and now I am going to publish them now the next question is I'm going to add is uh, let's say we add a new one and we'll say received how to send back damaged iPhone. Once you have received an iPhone case, you can send back if it is damaged, okay? If it is damaged, you can send back the case along with the order number. We will process your refund three to four business days. So this is here and now hit the save and we are gonna publish this as well so far we have added these knowledge articles okay so let's just leave it here one important thing that you have to do is you have to make it available to your customers okay so what I'm gonna do is there if I go back to each of these let me go ahead and close these windows so let's go ahead and go to each of these and there is a checkbox that you have to check which says make it visible to the customer so on this article here if you see, scroll down if you go ahead and edit here let's say edit it as draft you have published them but you can still able to edit them okay so now here I'm going to make it visible to the customers now if you want to add additional questions or things that then you can add it in these article details here so I'm going to go ahead and hit the save similarly I am going to the next one and I'm going to edit as draft and here this is also I'm going to enable it visible to the customer hit the save now once you do that you have to publish it again okay so you have to publish it similarly I'll go ahead and do it for this one as well and then let's go to the next article click on edit as draft and then you click on the edit and now what we're doing here is we are going to make this also visible to our customers and then hit the save. So we have added few articles here. Now I'm going to publish them again, making it visible to the customer. And then the last one I have to edit as draft. And then here we are going to go down and make it visible to the customers and hit the save and once you have saved it we will publish it what we have done is we have published few knowledge articles and now what we need to do is we need to add those articles onto our site right and how do we do that in order to add those articles to the site you need to group these articles in by the topic okay so topic is very very important so if I tell you why the topic is important because if you go over to the site let's right? say if you go over click on the builder and we go over to the builder here you cannot directly add knowledge articles onto the site because if I go over to the components and if I look for the word knowledge there is nothing you have to add them add these knowledge articles 
by the topics okay so you can either trending articles by the topic so you have to put them under a specific category before you publish them or before you publish them on the site how do we create topic how to add those topics to the knowledge articles we will talk all about that in the next tutorial just a quick recap what i have done so far is i have created i have enabled the knowledge setup on the site on the service side and then what we did is we added a text field on the knowledge and uh, then what we did we added the text field to make sure it is available on the page layout of FAQs that we did that and now we also published few records into our knowledge object right so now we need to make those records available onto the site and in order to do that we need to first add those articles under a specific topics so how to create topics add those knowledge articles onto the topic we are going to take a look that a look at that in the next tutorial thank you so much